What's up, y'all? It's Mike, the movie guy of iWatchMike.com. It is Sunday, June 26th. Tonight was the premiere on HBO Season 4, True Blood. <sighs> I'm so excited. So this is what I'm going to do every Sunday. Uh, I decided um, I'm just going to keep it raw. I'm going to keep it rough. And uh, I'm not going to go into another room and set up a tripod and lights and all that other stuff. I'm just going to do it straight from my good old Mac desktop and do a vlog and talk about the show. And uh, just in case uh, I'm lost, you guys can help me if I get confused during one of these shows. Um, but basically, I just wanted to like share and like do a little quick vlog about the show and everything else. As you can tell, there's my uh, notes on my Domino's pizza. I had Domino's. It was Domino Sunday for True Blood. And uh, so I wrote my notes on here. My girlfriend thought I was kind of crazy writing notes while I was watching the show. But I needed to remember all this stuff that I wanted to talk about. So, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. If you haven't watched the show, make sure you don't watch this vlog because I don't want to ruin it for you. Uh, you can stop here. But if you don't care, keep on going. Uh, and uh, comments are always welcome and all that good stuff. So, let's talk about the show. It kind of kicked off where it left off on season three. Uh, remember, Suki was kind of uh, fairy napped by that fairy godmother and taken to her world. Um, it started off kind of like a Lord of the Rings movie, right? Um... Those ugly fairies, were they goblins? I swear to God they were goblins. They had to have been goblins, unless they were like really ugly, nasty fairies. Um, so I don't know what the heck happened there, but uh, it was pretty cool. A lot of action out there. Those goblins were throwing some serious fireballs. I'm sure we're going to see more of those goblins. Definitely. I hope, because I don't know what that has to do with vampires and werewolves, but I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. So that was pretty cool with the goblins. Uh, let's see what else. Lafayette. What is up with the mohawk? I don't know what's going on with that. When I saw it, I was like, oh, yeah, Lafayette, so what? Is that Mohawk Lafayette? So I don't know what's going on with that. It looks like he's going to get uh, wrapped in with his boyfriend and some of the witches stuff. So that's going to be pretty interesting to see. And if I did see something, um, I did see a sneak peek somewhere that the witches are going to be able to control the dead, which means they control vampires. So I think that's going to be an issue for the vampires there. But um, we'll see what happens with the witches. Bill, what? <laughs> he's a politician now? Now, now, some people that haven't watched the show, you're probably like, Mike, what, what's going on? Okay, apparently when Sookie was fairy napped um, and she was only there like, it seemed like a couple of hours, when she escapes the goblins, um, she finds out that she's been missing for almost like, uh, a, what, 12 months? About a year? 13 months? So she's been gone. So a lot of things have happened. So, you know, like I said, you know, Bill Compton's now a, a politician. Um, let's see. Eric, still a pimp. I mean, Eric's... I, you know, I didn't like Eric in the first, probably first two seasons, and then I started liking him because I started seeing that he was really a badass, and now he's just a pimp, man, so Eric, he's still doing his thing, I know girls, everybody, girl loves uh, Eric, uh, let's see here, Tara, I mean, excuse me, Tony, yeah, people, she uh, looks like she moved and became a UFC fighter and became a lesbian, which her girlfriend is pretty hot in the show, so I hope she stays with her. You yeah, at least she didn't have those braids anymore. I can't do the braids. Tara never looked good with the braids. But now, yeah, she's a UFC fighter. Knock them bitches out. So that's going to be kind of interesting to see what goes on with her. Because she seems like she's she seems like she's, she's a tougher bitch now. Uh, let's see here. Um, probably my favorite so far in episode one, my favorite character is going to have to be, and I hope I see more, of Mikey. Now, some of y'all probably like, Mikey, who's Mikey? Mikey was what? Uh, Arlene's baby. When she walks into the hotel and see, well, not the hotel, but the house, and the baby's pulled off all the heads to the Barbie dolls, that's my kind of baby. So I, I, I hope Mikey, I hope I see more of Mikey in the, in the show because Mikey so far is my favorite. <laughs> he's going to be a little bad. I'm telling you, he's going to be a pain in the ass. I hope so. So, um, yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting. Sam's still in there doing his shape-shifting stuff. Um, it looks like he didn't kill his brother in season three when you, you know, you pretty much thought that he got shot, but it looks like he just shot him in the ass. And I don't know what he's doing with Hoyt's mom. That's kind of weird, too. I don't know what's going on. Oh, Jess, the redhead vamp. Oh, she's hot. Hot, hot, hot. And Hoyt's still cool. So it looks like there's going to be some interesting stuff going on. And I, I, I rumor has it you can watch on HBOGo.com. You can watch uh, episode two already online. But I'm going to stay away from that because I really want to watch it on Sunday with all my HBO TV people. I'm not going to go online and watch the show or anything like that. So that's pretty much it. With all my notes and everything else. Looks like it's going to be a great season. Um, you know, comments are welcome. Anybody got any favorites? Who do you like? I mean, it's going to be a good show. A good season. I can't wait. And uh, that's about pretty much it, really. So, um, anything else? Let me see. Did I leave anything out on my notes? 
I'm just keeping it real. I'm not going to edit anything. I think that's it. All I know is I can't wait till next Sunday to watch True Blood. So um, you want to watch any uh, any other reviews that I've done, any uh, the good posts I got, check out iWatchMike.com. And also, big shout-outs to my peeps at DownrightCreepy.com. DownrightCreepy.com. Uh, I just joined their, uh, their team over there. So what's up, fellas, and everything else. And that's about it. So y'all be careful. And uh, until next Sunday, True Blood, Episode 2. Bitches, peace.